Hey, what's good guys? It's Mr. Lotto back here with another beat tutorial video on how to EQ. So let's get started. I got a simple loop here uh, with a pad, a snare, and a kick. Um, I'll let you listen to this quick so you can get a feel for it. So you get the gist of that, um, so we can get started EQing. Um, there's a couple different ways to EQ, um, probably the quickest and most easiest way is just by using this EQ button right here that is on each instrument, <clears throat> see for the snare and the kick. Um, so we'll start EQing this pad first. Um, and normally when you EQ, you want to do it with all the sounds playing together. Um, just because when you're hearing the beat or the sounds, you're always hearing them all together. So you really just want to, um, pretty much mesh each instrument in its right place and just mix it real well together. Um. So you really don't want to solo each instrument. I mean, you can, but make sure to do it with all, with all of them as well, <laughs> because that's going to be your main sound, obviously. Um, so I'll bring up the EQ for this pad right here. <clears throat> and on the spectrum, you can obviously see where the main frequencies are showing. <clears throat> pass filter, the high pass filter, the EQ, and this has the E mode and the bells. Um, so really, you can start off <clears throat> by just canceling all the dead areas that really don't have any frequencies coming through, so you can open up room for other instruments that do fill those frequencies. So I'll start with the low pass filter. And what you really want to do is bring it over until the sound starts to change. And then start pulling it back. Because you, you really don't want to change the sound. You just want to cut out the dead frequencies that are being used. <clears throat> And if you want a more narrow, um, uh, a more narrow band to hone in on specific specific frequencies, um, just click the E mode, and you can see how it how it obviously narrows. And I really only boost like one to two dBs.
all, that's about good for that instrument. <clears throat> I can A, B it. So here's with, and here's without. Should hate me this for you. This is without. Now here's with.
So I'll A, B this one as well. Here's with O. Here's with So you can tell everything is just a lot cleaner, smoother, more in place. Um, all the instruments are hitting in their main frequencies and where they're supposed to be. <clears throat> just so when you go to finally mix everything together and master it, um, everything will be in place um, and where they're supposed to be and really cut through and stand out. Um, so that was just a basic tutorial on how to EQ. Um, just one more quick thing. Um, you can also, uh, this one's sick. You can also um, use um, this EQ as well. It's just the M class equalizer. I'm sure you all are pretty familiar with this because this is in the previous reasons <clears throat> and this is what you'll probably have to use in the uh, more earlier versions of reason but um, other than that I hope this helped you guys out uh, with some of your beats and your mixes um, to get your instruments just to really pop through um, if this helped Make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm trying to post a new type beat video and a new tutorial um, every week. So make sure to check back. Thanks guys. Peace.